So let me now do something very embarrassing. <laughs> let me do this uh, just quick speech, mm -hmm. and y you talk about it because it's French, mm -hmm. it's in English, and it's got all everything we've been mm -hmm. talking about. Tell me, do you really believe this burial business? Do you? Is your brother's ghost really condemned to wander forever if a handful of earth isn't thrown on the corpse to the company of some ecclesiastical buffoonery? Have you ever listened to the priests of Thebes mumble their formulas? You ever watched those dreary functionaries preparing the dead for burial? Skipping half the gestures, swallowing half the words, hustling the dead into their graves out of fear they'll be late for lunch? Not well acted. But, <laughs> but okay, so that's the speech, yeah, and that's me and nice quality, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's the speech, as it yeah. were, from a Canadian mm -hmm. through an English language, which is from a French root. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Shall I do it again? No. No. <laughs> no I'll tell you what I hear. Can I tell you what yeah. I hear? Yeah. Okay. I hear this... Uh, and I was a little anxious, because I'm oh, sitting in front okay. of Ravel Lepage and the cameras are rolling oh, and I get screwed yeah. up or whatever. Okay. No, no, what, I, what I'm saying is that there's, there's something about, and, and I hear that in Stratford a lot when I go to see, I think there's some amazing actors who do some amazing things, but there's a school of thought, I think, uh, in Canada, maybe more than in uh, this idea that if you want it to sound real, you have to make it sound like you would say it for real, as if you're inventing the words, right? Which is right. one conception of acting. So what I hear and what you're doing is that you give the impression that you're inventing what it is that you're saying. Right, okay. Cut me. But there's... But, yeah, right, okay, but that, that's, yeah, yeah. One, that, that's, that's fair. That's, that's so a school of thought. But there's also the, exactly the opposite that I think, is that this has been written by somebody else who is not me, who lived in another time, who's... And precisely this text has been adapted by a French guy of the 20th century who has his own agenda doing it. So all of these things can also be converted. Right. But of course it wouldn't sound like what you just did, which is you, you're inventing them. And I think that that's, in Europe there's a lot of this kind of uh, distanciation of how people act. People, they, they act, they, they remove themselves from the character and they point at the character. They point at what the... Uh, you know what I mean? It's, yep. it's more of a, um, it's about something else. Is it, that more true in French theater, in Quebec theater, in Spanish? Uh, in French or? theater more, I think, uh, uh, in French uh, theater, that's for sure. And in Quebec, in Quebec, I think that, and, and that's interesting, uh, I wouldn't say paradox, because I think some people do it very, very well, but uh, and don't have any problems with this, but I think it's, it's the French language used with a lot of English rules, because we've been, under right. the English rule or under the American rule for that matter. So we're very, very influenced by that rhythm, that energy, that way of life, that way of thinking. So the way we use the French language when we act is not the same way as the French do. Um, so anyways, j j just, just to say that it comes to, it comes to this idea of uh, what is emotion, okay? Is this too far fetched? <laughs> no, 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 okay, no. Okay. Because it's a voice, okay. so what is speech, emotion, emotion what is and the mother, the okay. father, so the what child. Is emotion in the theater? Where should the emotion be? Should it be in the soul, in the chest, in the heart of the actor? Or should it be in the room with the audience? I you vote for the room. Yeah, well, then you don't act the same way. You know what yeah. I mean? Is that, so I have the impression that we, in North America, and I include myself, as we've been trained to act in a certain way, to make it sound real, realistic, uh, ourselves, with our regional accent. Uh, we, we, we don't sing it. We don't, we don't uh, put makeup on it. We, we do it as close to how we would personally do it to make it sound true and real and all that. That's one thing. But often the emotion stays within the actor, and the spectator, the audience, is a spectator of the, somebody else's emotion and goes, oh my God, isn't he a great actor? Look at him, he is so moved. They are so moved. They're, they're amazing actors. Look at yeah, the, yeah. They're not necessarily moving. But this is, this, is, this is a Stanislavski, this is through mm -hmm. Strasbourg, this is through Actor Studio, this is mm -hmm. through the whole Absolutely. train, which me, I think it's all dying out now, but yeah, yeah. unless you feel it for real on stage, yeah, yeah. you shouldn't be there. Exactly. But it depends how you use it. And, and, uh, and that's what I, I, I think that, because um, I've been to Russia now uh, a few times, and, and 
you look at how and in this great school of Stanislavski acting and how that's still very much alive and present and how it's and it's very very strong and, and you you feel people are starting to break out of it because it, it there's this this uh, will to want to convey the emotion to to the room okay so mm -hmm. let's take the speech I just did <laughs> okay now how w what would you say to me in the rehearsal hall or after the run you would say Robert okay uh, I'd say that there are some ideas in what you, in the speech you, you, you delivered, there are some ideas that are muffled uh, because you stress on the ideas that help you sound real, natural, and truthful, and you, you, your character is probably moving. Will prob your character will probably move the audience, but your ideas might not. Yeah. So if you revise the text and you look, there are some pockets of ideas that are, that are not stressed out, that are not sculpted, that may not sound as natural when you will say them if you stress on these things. But these ideas might reach the audience and the audience make his own idea and then be moved by them. So, okay. It's roughly explained, but that's, that's what I mean. But I, I mean... Tell me, tell me, do you really believe the burial business? Do you? Is your brother's ghost really condemned to wander forever if a handful of earth isn't thrown on the corpse? To the company of some ecclesiastical book. I, I, mean, I can't hear wander. I can't hear forever. Wait. I can't. It's not that I can't hear the words. I can't hear what you mean. So I was TVizing it. I was driving it down to TV there, right? Yeah. Let's make it like TV. Tell me. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. I'm, I'm the worst actor no, 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 no. in the world. You're nope. asking the worst. <laughs> I hate doing this. <laughs> no, but it's good. So, I so think it's the actor's responsibility. No, but you <laughs> said, <laughs> I missed wander. I missed... Tell me, do you really... Wander, what is wandering? What is a soul wandering? It's a huge thing, right? Okay, so it just went by, and I, I got it the second time around who said it. Yeah. The word forever, do you see these Forever. Words? Forever. What is the word forever? So I'm not saying you have to stop at each, yeah. at each word, but I'm just saying that you can choose not to, not to stress those ideas, and that's all, that also has a value. But is your brother's ghost? Is your brother's ghost really condemned to wander forever? Well, that's a very different thing. If a handful of earth isn't thrown on a corpse, I mean. I can get the beginning of that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, oh, no, no. I'm okay. You haven't paused the other show. No, no. Very no. Perfect again because my instincts are mm -hmm. driven over thirty years to be real, mm -hmm. Robert. Be real, and if yeah. you're not real, you won't get the job. Uh, uh, the director won't hire me, the audience won't yeah. believe me. So every instinct has been honed to say it real, say, say it real, Robert. Yeah, yeah. And here you're saying it actually isn't serving, my instinct to be real as a North American actor isn't actually serving. Maybe not all of the person, but, but I'm telling you what, it's, 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 and it's fine if you, because that's your, you're good at, at this, as sounding real, and, 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 but maybe that's the thing you have to do at the end, maybe at the beginning. You have to start by just getting the meaning of those, these words out and the intelligence of the text out, and then write the words to do what you do best. But the, 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 it's just because a lot of people start that they start at uh, okay, this has to feel real, this has to feel like myself. This is not this is not me. This is it. Yeah. I mean, it's just because it opens a, a huge discussion about huge. why Hollywood now hires people who have the casting of the part when, you know, Tom Cruise is Tom Cruise and whatever he does, and he will be Tom Cruise yeah. and will never act a part. Right. Why there is no so acting art anymore in Hollywood. Yeah, and, 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 yeah. I, and, I, and who, who gets the Oscars? The people who are doing, I mean, if you really look down the past 20 some years, uh, it's yeah. the few remaining actors who had to put themselves in the, the in the, in, the, in the skin of Truman Capote and put a disguise on, find the voice, find the rhythm, find the inner energy, that's acting. It's yeah. not just character acting, it's, it's acting. It's, it, there's something about that that's operatic and lyrical and sung, even if it's very real. Right. It's, it is sung to you, it is 